this problem also appeared in gate 2014 only. So here we had to find out which torque speed characteristics is stable or unstable, right? So uh, load torque is given, motor torque characteristics are also drawn. We had to find which characteristics or which point is stable or and which point is unstable, right? So from first figure, if you see, uh, when motor is trying to catch the load, it is towards attaining the load torque, it could be called in a stable mode. So general formula for this stability, I have written it down. So motor torque variation with a speed should be greater than load torque variation with a speed. Then it should be called as a stable. So either you can uh, remember this formula or you can understand this formula. Uh, you see that when uh, in this figure at point P, what is happening? When a speed is increasing, or let's let's say it is in this manner. This is TL. This is a speed and blue one is TM. So at this point, the slope of motor torque with variation with a speed like DTM by uh, DN, that speed is higher than DTL by DN, right? Uh, because the slope of DTL by DN is zero at P and DTM by DN is increasing. So if it will be higher, it will be a stable. Let us see at Q point. Uh, direction of speed in, uh, uh, right to depth. Sir. Sorry, sorry. Uh, a speed ka direction right to depth. Because in that case, NS is equal to NS. Increase will increase. Left side. Mein, a speed to left side. Mein bahega, na, sir. Right side. Mein nahi. Okay. Jo aap arrow, or okay. Arrow le. okay. 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 So this you are saying that a speed in that direction. Okay. जो आप जो आपने बनाया ऐसे हॉरिजॉन्टल टॉर्क स्लिप का ओके ओके उसमें यस यस दिस वुड बी नेगेटिव स्पीड दिस वुड बी पॉजिटिव डजंट मैटर डू यू फील एनी डिफरेंस वुड बी देयर दिस इज नेगेटिव यस एनएस एनएस इंडक्शन मोटर इफ यू रिमेंबर यस यू रिमेंबर इंडक्शन मोटर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट इज सिमिलर टू दैट राइट Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, any confusion you can ask, like uh, maybe I am maybe wrong also. So, I am assuming that the speed in this direction or this direction x axis is the speed uh, axis, and uh, motor torque is you know increasing and it is trying to approach, uh, it will increase load torque. And if motor torque is greater than load torque. Then the the system is in acceleration mode or load angle. You can say it is it will increase, but after some point, after some point, if it reaches at optimal point, it should decrease. Otherwise, it would go out of you know super synchronous speed or the angle would be out of phase more than ninety. So uh, generally, swing if you have might have studied in swing equation. Its characteristics is also similar to that. And at Q, the DTM by DN is less than DTL by DN because uh, at Q, at Q, DTL by DN is zero and DTM by DN is negative so which is bigger i guess dtl by dn is bigger and if this slope is higher than this then the motor would be unstable so q point would be unstable and p point would be stable here similarly for uh, this case 
uh, in B. Any confusion in this? No, sir. Okay, fine. So if no, then uh, let us take this point R and S. At R, at R, a uh, motor torque slope is you know a straight line. So let us say something. Uh, this angle, this angle is theta one slope. But if you see, if you take tangential angle, this is more. Uh, this slope is higher than theta one. So at R point. DTM is less than DN. DTM by DN is less than DTL by DN. So what would be it? Which case? Stable or unstable? Can anybody guess? Sorry. Unstable. Ha, fine. Thanks. So it would be unstable. At S also, what is happening? The reverse is happening, right? DTL by DN is lesser than DTM by DN. So it would be which case a stable or unstable at s stable fine thanks it would be a stable so just you need to identify the slope between them which is higher and if motor torque is higher than load torque at any point that is considered as a stable so uh, in gate generally this type of problem came and if you want to, uh, there are uh, more theory behind it, uh, more concepts behind it, but uh, I don't think that is worth it to discuss it here because that is not necessary. This would help you. So any doubt in this? Second figure में जो mapping है वो stable region में और जो Q है वो unstable region में है तो ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते P जो stable होगा और Q जो होगा unstable हाँ तो P ये stable ही है Q unstable मतलब ऐसे भी देख के बोल सकते हैं बिना देव ये DTM by DN करते हुए वैसे भी तो देख सकते हैं ना कि मेरा P जो है stable region में होगा तो मेरा P जो point होगा वो stable होगा हाँ मतलब how you can say that P is stable uh, just by looking at it? Do you have any idea? No. Okay, one way is that you see that motor torque is trying to approach load torque, right? Till P and beyond P also. Beyond P, it is exceeding the load torque, but till P, it is trying to catch up with load torque. So if motor torque, torque is trying to catch up with load torque, it could be called as a, you know, a stable region, right? And at Q point, motor torque is trying to get lower than load torque. So uh, after that, it is not possible that it would again rise and it will again attain the load torque. So it that is not sure, right? Until and unless some motor power is given. So that's why it is just my perspective. I may be wrong. Uh, so by looking at it, you can say in that manner, it is stable or unstable. So you were thinking in that manner or do you have any other idea? No. Okay, fine. No issue. So uh, you make sure that you do not make mistake or you do not apply any intuition in gate exam. Otherwise, it will cost some negative marks as well. So you just try the formula, apply the formula if you know and you get the correct answer. Hmm. So Moving ahead with parallel operation of transformer here.